Mac Method Gang. Today we're going to be talking about does getting jacked really change your life? Does getting jacked really change your life? Answer that question. I want you to answer that question. What do you think? Do you think yes? Do you think no? I'm going to give you five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. The obvious answer is yes, it literally changed your life. Now, I'm someone that's been on the other side, and now I'm on this side. You know what I'm saying? It changes your life. How does it change your life? Well, for one, we're going to get into this. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep it rapid fire, quick, no BS, right up. I've been on the other side, y'all. Zero game, zero. No, I wasn't jacked at all. I was a twig. If you see my story, how I gained 25 pounds of muscles, basically my come up. I started from zero. I started from zero. Zero body, zero game, zero swag, zero everything, bro. <laughs> and now I'm here. I laugh about it because it's funny. But completely changes everything because when I wasn't jacked, when I wasn't fit, when I wasn't really outgoing in a way or just confident, it affected basically everything I did in terms of my overall life. Communicating with people was hard because I had no confidence. Part of the reason why I had no confidence was because I didn't even like how I looked in the mirror. You know what I'm saying? Because I was skinny acne, all that stuff. Two, another thing that affected me a lot was people don't take you as serious because you're a twig. It looks like you don't even like take care of yourself. You don't have to be a bodybuilder. You don't have to be jacked to the T. You don't have to be none of that. But if you look like somewhat decent, you have a lean aesthetic physique, bodybuild, some sort of inclination that you lift, that you work out, you know what I'm saying? You take care of yourself, then you're automatically going to get more respect than the guy that doesn't look like that, the, the skinny twig guy, then the fat guy, because what you're showing is that you actually care about yourself and you have the ability to improve situations. And what you're improving is your life. You're literally a mirror image of what you've done, what you've accomplished. My body shows that I've accomplished this physique. I've built this physique from zero. I literally built this physique from zero, guys. And a lot of people that come in contact with me and they interact with me I always mention my work because I'm always there at my job. They always give me the utmost respect. I'm not just saying all of that is from my body, but based off of what I see, a lot of it does come from my body because guess what? When I meet them, when I greet them, the first thing they always say to me is, wow, you have a very big stature. Your frame is very big. Look at your arms, look at your chest. Just look at your physique. It's very dominating. It's very big. It's very commanding. It's very demanding. It demands respect. Everyone respects someone that works out, someone that put in the work because they know how difficult it could be. And they see that 90% of the population is skinny. 90% of the population is fat. They're, it's either or, you know what I'm saying? They're either fat, obese, or they're skinny twigs. There's not a lot of people out here that's really fit, that's really out here jacked. So you stand out off rip. So by you being a rarity, by you standing out amongst public, you're going to demand respect off rip. You know what I'm saying they're going to give you the utmost respect off the top. It should be like that anyways, but we live in the real world and that's just how it is. Am I saying is it right or wrong? I'm not saying whether it's right or wrong. All I know is that it does demand respect. Your body demands respect. So that's one thing you're going to get a lot when you start really putting on size. When I'm putting in size like this, where it's very apparent that you work out, any clothes you wear, you clearly see you work out. Any you thing, trust me when I say this, guys, you will get a lot of people checking for you. You will get a lot of people giving you just the utmost respect. And in turn, you should be giving them too. You know what I'm saying? You should be giving people respect anyway, but I'm just saying more people are going to flock to you in that regard. Now, another thing that I noticed when I got jacked is, do I really have to say it? You get a lot of people trying to get with you in relationship-wise, checking for you, flirting with you, et cetera, because your body is very masculine, obviously. Two, you look good. You look, stand out. I, I just said it. You stand out. You're a rarity. 90% of people are not standing out. They're slobs. You know and I'm saying they're out of shape. All that stuff. And it's not just the look. It also, when you get in shape, it builds up your confidence, right? It's going to build up your confidence because you're going to actually like what you see in the mirror. If you wake up and you don't like what you see in the mirror, you're probably not going to have that much confidence. If you look in the mirror and you're like, oh, damn, I don't like my body or I don't like this. I don't like that. How can you be confident? You can't because you're already in that negative mindset to where you don't like how you look. So you're automatically thinking people are judging you based off how you look, where 
they can be or they can't be but you're automatically thinking that when people look at you if it's like you're trying to get with someone or trying to talk to a girl or whatever you're gonna automatically think whether it's conscious or subconsciously that oh they're judging me by my body or oh i need to get in shape or this and that about my body it's gonna knock you down and then what does that do when you speak when you try to talk when you try to really get out there you can't because you're already operating in a negative mind frame because you don't even like how you look and you think that they don't like how you look either so it's just an endless spiral of like you're not gonna get anywhere because how can you get anywhere you have zero confidence you think that they don't like you you don't even like yourself so you know what i'm saying but when you're jacked when you're ripped when you are beaming with confidence me bro my chest is always held up high every time i walk it's very apparent and because I'm 100% confident in myself. I'm 100% confident with my body. I built this up from zero. You know what I mean? I built this up and I've had enough evidence to where I know, I know I'm that dude, bro. I have too many people telling me that. It's not just me thinking I'm that, you know what I'm saying? That I'm like, that I look good, that I have a good body. You would be amazed how many people tell me that you look crazy, you look freaking jacked, bro. You look great. I get that all the time at my gym. I get that when I walk around in public every day. My job every single day. When I say every single day, I literally mean every single day. People telling me that all the time. And no, I'm not trying to act like I'm like some, I'm saying, Esther, all this crap, or my ego. I'm just telling you what it is when you start getting jacked. And you should actually want to hear this because this should push you to get jacked. Now, you shouldn't just be wanting, you shouldn't want to just be getting jacked because of getting validation from other people you should want to get jacked because of the opportunities you get and how you actually feel as a person and how you actually will start carrying yourself in the mindset and all this stuff other stuff but all these things that i'm talking about are byproducts of that the girls are a byproduct of that validation from other people the respect all this stuff comes with it guys all this other stuff comes with it but the most important thing is you should want to work out anyways because why wouldn't you want to work out you're literally a man bro even if you're a woman, you should want to work out anyways, because it's your body. You literally operate under your body. Why would you want to feed your operating system crap? Why wouldn't you want to make your operating system strong? That makes no sense. Why would you want to function at a lower level, a lower frequency? You should want to feed your body good foods. You should want to exercise to keep your body upright, to keep it I'm saying athletic, to keep it good, to keep it functioning at a higher rate. You should want to do that anyways, you know what I mean? <laughs> so it's just like, but as I was saying, it's crazy. It's really crazy. You'll get violated like crazy. You know what I'm saying it's very apparent. People will give you opportunities left and right. It increases everything you do, increases your, and it just increases. Here, I'll touch on the opportunities because I'm all over the place. I'm spit firing. I'm freestyling right now. I don't really have, I don't have a slideshow. I don't have a whiteboard right now. I'm just freestyling. So, like I said, with the opportunities, I'll give you an opportunity right now. I got literally casted, or invited rather, to a modeling shoot just based off of my look, based off of my body. It wasn't anything else, I'm saying, and I did it. Simple as that. It was literally just because I looked. And the guy even told me, he's like, bro, you gotta come, I'm saying. I get told every day, and I'm, I keep saying I'm gonna do this, but I actually am gonna do this, that I should, I belong in New York modeling. I get that from multiple people, not just one person, you know, I get this like a lot to the point where it's just like, okay, hold. it's not just one or two people telling me this. It's literally like a lot, like more than 20, like a lot, bro. And so you're getting opportunities and not just, you know, gigs and things like that. Opportunities can also be even at your job, you're going to get treated better by your coworkers. You're going to get treated better by authority anyway, because it just demands respect, bro. It's just it literally boils down to that. It demands respect. It shows that you're someone that's hardworking because you put in the work to get your body like that. People admire that. They see that and it exudes confidence. It just exudes that sort of drive, that will, that people love that. You know what I'm saying? They love it because one, it shows that you can apply that same hard work into anything, especially at your job. I'm going to be real, guys. I've literally only gotten my jobs, not based off my resume and what I know. Dang, it wasn't based off of that. <laughs> like recent jobs that I've gotten is literally just based off of my look, how I carry myself and my physique. You know, obviously I'm intelligent in the way that I speak and things like that. But 
my resume had nothing to do with it, literally zero. You know what I mean? Zero. It was literally based off of what I just said. And I knew some people that can vouch for me because of my first impression, because of how I carried myself, because of how I move and how I look and how I, why I got the jobs. There are that, these jobs, you know what I mean? It wasn't because of, well, my resume was, bro, no, <laughs> it wasn't because of that. Opportunity that I seized, opportunity that I grabbed was based off of my look and based off of how I spoke. Obviously you have to be charismatic, things like that. But a big brand, like I always talk about the branding, a big part of it was because of, okay, that guy looks serious. This guy looks, looks like he can fit the part, bro. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. And then obviously when you get the job, you obviously fit the part, but this applies to anything. It doesn't just mean getting a job. It can mean during a promotion too. They see you, there's someone that keeps up with themselves. You're just more likely to get it. It's simple as this. It's really as simple as this. You see one guy, the same, let's say there's two guys, one that's fat, one that's skinny, and one that's buff like this. You know what I'm saying? We all look exactly the same. Everyone looks exactly the same. Just one skinny, one's fat, and one's like me. You know what I mean? All right, let me say this. A fat version of me, skinny version of me, which is basically my past, and then me right now. We're wearing the same clothes, everything is the same. Our resumes, whatever. We all do everything the same. Out of all three of us, who do you think is going to get picked based off of what I just said? Based off of who's going to get the job, who's going to get the promotion, who's going to... Me, I'm going to get it. Why? Because, yes, we have the same resume, we have the same intelligence, whatever, all that stuff. It doesn't matter what it comes down to. Then at that point, it came down to, okay, look at the bodies. Let's look at, you know, who really looks like they can fill this part. Who, Me, bro, because they're missing that. They're lacking in that department. And it's so much deeper than that. This is very, like, double things that I'm talking about right now. But it's just is what it is. It really is what it is. It's the opportunities that's really the best part about it. Um, in terms of just external things, the opportunities is crazy. It's endless. I've been offered multiple jobs, like side stuff that I can do for people just based off of my body. Got paid well because of it. Got paid a hundred bucks to move bags just based off of my body. Moved it for three hours um, and got paid a hundred dollars. You know what I mean? It's just like, was it even three hours? No, I moved it for two hours, my mistake. And I got paid a hundred dollars for it. It really... And this happens all the time, guys. It, it's not just a one-off thing. You get, get thrown opportunities. And especially if you live up to the standard, especially if you show that you're dedicated, that you're really hard working, all these things. So based off all these things that I just tell you, what do you think? Does it change your life? Yes or no? Yes. Completely, 100%. All your relationship dynamics, including, I'm not just talking about dating. I mean, relationships get better and better. Every single thing, every interaction, literally everything, because... You're more confident now. Yes, the body is a huge thing. Getting jacked is a huge thing because what they see off the top is, okay, this guy is, looks, this guy, you know, he puts in that work. But then when they come up to you, you've already received evidence that you're that guy, that you're confident, that you look good. So you're already glowing with confidence. You're radiating with confidence. You, you're not shy. You're not like, you're not timid and all these things. What do you think is going to happen, bro? Come on. Like, it's just, you'll be magnetic. I literally made a video about this, um, I think two videos ago. You literally become magnetic. People will be drawn to you, bro. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? And obviously, I didn't really touch, touch about it. I touched about it a little bit, but yes, bro, relationships, women is a huge thing that you're going to get easy off the rip. You just are, it, because it's just like, <laughs> I just had to flex on y'all. I'm not even, it's just because, dude, they find that attractive. Just same way how you find, I'm gonna keep it short and simple. The same way how you find women, woman's body attractive, you like the legs. That's my favorite thing, bro. The legs, the thighs. That's, you know, that's key right there for me. But anyways, the point is the same way how you like legs, you like how woman's body is, you like, you know, that shape, the hourglass type shape and all those things. They are the same way with guys. They like a guy with a V-taper. They like a guy with a big chest, big arms. You know, and they look like they can lift something. They look like they can move something. They don't look like a stick, bro. They don't look like this. They don't look like a damn, I'm going to use my hat, but fat as hell. Like their stomach. No, bro. Because all this stuff is subconscious. They're starting to think right there. If we're talking like, you know what I mean? Like they see a fat ass guy. It really knocks down the, okay, this guy really put in work. Like, I'm just keeping it like that. I'm not going to go into it, but it's, it's true. 
It, it really is true. So when you see me, like, uh, we know what it is. Like, anyways, I'm gonna keep it like that. But yes, guys, body game does really change your life. Opportunities, relationships, your health, like the main thing, your literal health, bro. And it, just so on and forth. It's not just about looking good. It's literally feeling good, knowing you're that guy, having the confidence, and then you apply that to everything else. You know, it, it really is that simple. So yes, should you get in shape? You should have been guy in shape. If you watch this channel, you should have been already been getting in shape, bro. I don't know how you watch this channel and you're fat as hell. It really makes no sense. And I'm not talking for the people that are putting in work now because they found me like in the gym and things like that. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the fat and skinny people that are just watch this and they don't do anything. Like, what are you doing? Anyways, I'm going to see you on the next video. The next video is actually going to be a slideshow or a um, web videos because then I can actually really get my point across. And I'm going to actually build up on this video. Um, be later from now, obviously, because I just made a video like it, but... The next videos are going to be more whiteboard slash slideshow stuff because spitting off freestyle, I always forget to say a couple things. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks. Subscribe to the channel. Comment down below what you think. Do you agree with me? Comment down below. Unchained if you got this far. And I'll see you guys in the next one.